uh, during World War One. Yes. Now, where Not did too you long. <clears throat> I had too enlisted long. in 1917 uh -huh. in the army with six others from here. We were all accepted. We were going to San Antonio, Texas. Uh, a night before I was supposed to leave, I received notice I'd been rejected. I was half an inch too short. <laughs> so the rest of them went down south, and they all got sick. One of them died of spinal meningitis. Oh, really? Yeah. I've heard of that happening at times in the past. It was very cold down there. So then who did you go join up with then next? Then I uh, spoke to the, uh, got permission from the draft outfit mm -hmm. to go to Great Lakes to try it. Mm -hmm. And I made it by the skin of my teeth. <clears throat> the last test I had was on colors. And I was a professional on colors, and some kid marked me colorblind. And I said, before you, the, the doctor picked up a st uh, stamp, rejected. I said, before you apply that, I'm asking for another examination. Mm -hmm. I deal in colors. I'm positive, not colorblind. The chief petty officer took me over. Oh, he said, this is a crime. He said, there were eight or nine of them the mm -hmm. that were passable. Yeah. And you're not colorblind, but you are perfect. Yeah. What uh, what did you do in the Navy? First, I took up radio work, mm -hmm. but bothered my hearing. Mm -hmm. And then I went to mess hall. I was mess out in there most of the time. Mm -hmm. And how long did you serve? Until I was in the outgoing detention camp when the armistice was signed. Uh -huh. But we were on the way east to be shipped east. And as soon as I got to Norfolk, I applied for work over there. Uh -huh. Didn't want to go out to sea anymore. I was close to 30 years old. So I came home before the year was over. So not even a year? <coughs> well. About a year? Is that all you were in then? Or from May until December. Oh, six months then. Mm -hmm. Something right. like that. Now, I'd like to know, what do you do uh, to keep yourself busy these days? <laughs> Well, I play a lot of solitaire. Uh -huh. Try to find out how dumb I am by working crossword puzzles. <laughs> yeah. Do uh, a lot of people stop over at your home to see you, or do you get out much to other people's homes? Or, no, I uh, don't get out too much. No? A few times a week I go out with a lady upstairs, uh -huh. take her out to eat. Uh -huh. She likes to eat. Yeah. Any uh, particular places in general that you like to go? We usually go to Minos. Mm -hmm. You know where Minos is? Sure, are? sure. And we go to M&M. All right. <laughs> Seems like everybody does from one time or another. Yeah, but, uh, they're both good eating places. Sure, sure. Now, uh, my final question here is, well, no, I have two of them. Uh, first of all, you have, the house you've lived in, you've lived in for close to 57 years. That's right. And you've never owned the home. You've been a renter all this time. That's and right. Tell me why. Because the rent has been so reasonable. My folks lived there when I moved in. And the lady who lives upstairs, her folks lived upstairs. Mm -hmm. So there were five living upstairs and about that many below. But uh, they all passed away with the exception of my daughter who left after she came out of college. She's a speech therapist, and she's teaching, still teaching. Mm -hmm. So I'm the only one left below my wife, since my wife died. Mm -hmm. And the rent is very reasonable. And the lady upstairs wouldn't know what to do if I were in there, like part of the family. So you're not, uh, you didn't, you just had no interest in being a homeowner? No, <laughs> not at all. It would have been more expensive, do you think, to buy the home and, or? I don't know. I needed money in my younger years mm -hmm. for a store. Yeah, not a house. <laughs> now, this upcoming April 7th, uh, you will be 99 years old. If I live that long, All yes. right, well, I think you will. But uh, comment, if you can, <laughs> And what the feeling is like to know you've lived uh, to that age. Well, <clears throat> I can truly say the same thing my brother did. 
I was with him on his 99th birthday. In fact, I had a ride with him. He's still driving his car, too. And he said, during the last year, I got 10 years older. He felt it. Mm -hmm. And I can agree with him now, also. During the last year, things have changed a lot with me, too. Oh, really? Yeah. So, we'll try to stay here as long as the good Lord lets us, just so we can live to the end of mm -hmm. our days and not exist. Sure. My brother just went to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. See, Any big uh, birthday plans for the 99th? I don't expect it. Well, my family will be here mm -hmm. if I live that long. Mm -hmm. Well, I certainly hope so, <laughs> and I certainly think so. So, Fred, thank you for coming down and allowing me the chance to have a word with you. I really pleasure enjoyed it. Pleasure been here. And I hope all of you enjoyed it, too. And that will do it for this segment of Interesting Individuals. We'll see you next time. Thank you.